Greetings and salutations and welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a rare early show for us. Well, early evening. I uh, have some, <laughs> I have an incredible amount of things to do today uh, before I can uh, go to sleep tonight. I have a lot of things on my list. Uh, getting a show together and being with you being one of those things. So I thought it best if we get on here and bang out what I think will be a quick, a very quick presentation. You know, uh, getting back to investigating fake psychics and fake intuitive healers and people making claims of superpowers again, got me interested in just what are the laws about fake psychics? Is there any consumer protection? Turns out that most there uh, are very literal, little in the form of federal laws concerning psychic, fake, fake psychic services or real psychic services for that matter. And this is the gray area that psychics actually do business in. It seems that at least in the United States, each state is responsible for creating or uh, outlining rules and laws concerning these fake psychics. And we see that the laws vary incredibly from state to states. Some states outlawing storefront psychic mediums uh, and some states having some consumer protections against fraudulent mediums. But some of the new age con grifters like intuitive healers still get a free run in many states in the United where you live, it may be perfectly permissible for somebody to pretend to have superpowers and steal money from people. Here in the United States, again, it's a gray area. It depends on which state you're in. It depends. There is a great number of variables. And uh, this, though, got me to thinking about uh, psychics and consumer fraud and doing just a very little bit of research, and by research, I mean a Google search, uh, busy day today. Uh, but I did find an, an, a great article that was published uh, in September of this year from AARP, a, a warning of sorts. And I'm going to cite fair use. We'll be reading from that article. We'll be uh, critiquing... Uh, Educating the public, this is a transformative work. Okay, so the article's titled, Psychic Scams Rise During COVID-19 Pandemic. What's in your future? Financial ruin, if you're not careful. A New Jersey man in his 50s was having problems at work. In February, he turned to a psychic for help. During their first meeting, the psychic read tarot cards and peppered him with personal questions that led to a second, costlier sessions at which she uttered an ominous warning. You have a curse. It might be devastating for your family. It has to be removed immediately. Next, she asked him to bring her $9,000 in a pillowcase with nine white roses, nine red roses, and magnets. She said she would perform rituals and soon return the $9,000. Yearning for the bad karma to disappear, he did as instructed scraping together money from friends, a rainy day fund, and an account earmarked for his son's college education. He says that his repeated attempts to get the money back from the psychic have not yielded a dime, and that police refused to pursue the matter. About five months after he gave her the $9,000, he lost his job in information technology, part of a pandemic-related layoff, and now is strapped. Everything is messed up right now. He tells AARP, I got psychologically trapped and I never expected it to go this far. Uh, People are feeling very vulnerable and lost right now. Some seek out a therapist or religious advisor. Some turn to a vice like drinking, gambling, or shopping, and some look to a psychic. The article goes on further to state FBI complaints inching up. At the FBI, complaints about psychic frauds reported to its Internet Complaint Center, or IC3, likewise have been inching upward. Although IC3 does not 
see many of these types of complaints, there have been a slight uptick in reporting this year, the FBI said in a statement to AARP. Most of the complainants reporting these scams have not been victimized, but are being vigilant in reporting potential frauds they see on social media uh, networks or receive via email. So it's interesting if you, even if you just observe a, a fraud out there trying to scam people or con people, you can contact the FBI. They have an internet complaint center or IC3 it's called and uh, let them know about your concerns about a fraud or a fake ripping people off on the internet. Isn't that interesting? Among recent complaints to the helpline, a 54-year-old woman in Canada lost $24,000 to a psychic who promised to connect her with a loved one. A 73-year-old man in Washington State lost big bucks to a psychic in hopes of winning back an ex-girlfriend. The spiritualist not only took his money, but also had him charge expensive jewelry that he gave the psychic to present to the man's lost love. The woman never got the gifts, nor did she reconcile with him. Now practically broke, he saddled with the credit card bills for the jewelry. Next, a 72-year-old woman in Seattle gave $20,000 to a psychic for information about a new relationship. When she complained to the police, they refused to follow up on her case, she says. Wow. So hunting them down. Many in law enforcement don't take psychic scams seriously, says Bob Nygaard, a private investigator based in Boca Raton, Florida. After 21 years as a cop, he built a second career hunting down fraudulent fortune tellers who he says exploit vulnerable people. Nygaard, 53, retired in 2007 after serving with the New York City Transit Police Department and the Nassau County Police Department. His investigations have led to numerous prosecutions and media appearances, and he says he's been able to recover considerable sums for some victims. Yeah, uh, and that's somebody I'm going to be reaching out to for an interview. I'd love to talk to that guy. Being defrauded by a spiritualist isn't a matter of losing cash after paying for legitimate services. Typically, these are cases of theft by false pretenses, Nygaard says, and that fraudsters rarely use the money they rake in towards the work they tell patrons they will do, calling the offenders part of non-traditional organized crime families, he says. They buy exotic cars, dine in fancy restaurants, and take pricey vacations with their windfalls. Does pricey vacation seem familiar to anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> Seems damn familiar to me. You mean they don't really use the money for, you know, love and light shit? They just go on expensive, lavish vacations? Yeah. It all happens amid their outlandish claims. You'll be cured of cancer or your child will recover from autism. Yeah, friends, that one bothers me. I have uh, come across, and we'll be uh, doing another show on this, I have come across a great number of psychics who are promising people that they can cure their children of autism for a price. Having an autistic son myself, we're going to look into that. We're going to look into those people. Uh, perhaps promising you'll win the lottery, or you'll collect an inheritance, or your lost love will reemerge. People seeking assistance from spiritualists generally are motivated by fears about money, health, or love, according to Nygaard, who says hot spots for such fraud include New York, New Jersey, Arizona, California, Illinois, Massachusetts, and Texas. Uh, just a little bit more to this article. Uh, one numerous case involved an older, wealthy woman in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, who, while suffering from dementia, lost three Point five million million to a purported, purported psychic court document show. The two were an odd couple. The victim earned degrees from Radcliffe and Harvard, and the psychic had only second grade education. Wow. Nygaard did not probe that case, but when the psychic was being prosecuted in 2018, he was asked to provide a sworn written statement to the court to detail the warning signs of fortune telling fraud cases. Fake fortune tellers often engage in emotional extortion, he said. In days past, neon signs outside palm reading parlors lured clients in. Today, some hucksters have gravitated online. Gee, we know something about these hucksters gravitating to online, don't we? And haunt social media sites. Using the mail is also a modus operandi for persuading people to part with their money. In 2016, the federal government shut down an international crime ring that was barred from sending out 
additional materials in the U.S. mail on behalf of psychics, clairvoyants, and astrologers. The losses to 1 million Americans were estimated to, to be around $180 million. Wow. Uh, so finally, a roller coaster you don't want to ride. The Postal Inspection Service and law enforcement arm of the Postal Service has warned that people who buy into these scams are being taken on an emotional roller coaster ride that continues to require more and more money. Yet psychic scam millions of people annually, they say. To protect yourself, it advises that consumers should watch out for promises with fees that guarantee good health, wealth, or fortune. Gee, they promise to heal you, these fake psychics, and we should watch out for people that promise, to promise us good health in exchange for money? Never give out financial information to someone to, that you do not know and trust. Well, that's good advice for anything, not just psychics. Research the price of services. Know the co total cost of anything you order and exactly what you will receive or what they're claiming you'll receive. I don't think you receive anything from these people, but okay. Uh, so know the total costs and, and know exactly what you will receive. Ask about hidden costs. Inquire if there are any conditions or ongoing or hidden costs. Talk to a friend, check with someone you trust before engaging a psychic services. My best advice is to use a psychic or palm reader as entertainment, says AARP's Nofzinger, not what you base your life next step on. Uh, so this is one, friends, of the articles that I found. And it seems to me uh, that uh, it's interesting to me that psychic scammers are on a big uptake. Uh, but... slime balls and low lowlifes and they prey on people and so it's no surprise to me that during a trying time for everyone they're preying on people more than usual right uh, this however uh this interest of mine into uh consumer fraud and psychics you know i was thinking about this and i remembered seeing something on sarah r adams website uh, that we just sort of brushed on uh, in this last show where we discussed her, The Strange Case of Sarah Adams, Part 3. Uh, I'm not sure that this is a Part 4, really, because, you know. Uh, but I wanted to touch on uh, what we sort of missed touching on. And I wanted to ask Sarah R. Adams to show us the fucking Stargates. I'm sorry. I want to see the fucking Stargates. I want to see the fucking Stargates. If you're taking money from people teaching a class that you can open stargates, right? You're telling people you're going to teach them that you, Sarah R. Adams, can access, create, and open stargates, and that you're going to teach people how to do that for money, then show us a fucking stargate. Come on, just show us one. You don't have to show us multiple stargates. Just show us one fucking stargate. Get your phone out. Put it in the room. Push record, go live on Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want to do, Sarah R. Adams, and show us a fucking Stargate. It's basically consumer fraud. It's in black and white. Share something from her website because I find this interesting. Well, actually, what I really find interesting is how she can get away with this. So here's something from uh, Sarah's website. This is the courses that she teaches. So she takes money from people to teach, right? Okay. Light being activation course. This teach this course will teach you how to create and open and access stargates and portals. That's just the first sentence. That's just the first sentence of what she's promising in this course. It will teach you how to create, open, and access stargates and portals. Now, I'm assuming since Sarah R. Adams is teaching this course and how to create, open, and access stargates and portals, that she can do that, right? So here we are, friends. We found her. She's got another fucking superpower. This girl's got more superpowers. Like... You know, growing up, I read comic books. I don't remember ever reading in any comic book 
a girl that had more superpowers than Sarah R. Adams. I just don't, I don't know one. This is another major, major claim that she's making, that she can open and access Stargates and portals. So, you know, I think it's fair, Sarah. Get out your phone, push record, go live on Facebook or YouTube, and show us a fucking Stargate. Just show us one. Or is what you're doing fraud? Can you really not open Stargates and therefore you can't teach anybody to open Stargates? Because this is a pretty far-fetched claim. And I can't believe if you've got smart people around you and like a fucking manager that they they wouldn't go, yeah, that's a little too much. It's pouring it on a little too thick. You can create and open and access Stargates and portals. Friends, she's got superpowers. And not only that, she's going to teach you to have similar superpowers. She could teach you to open Stargates. It's awesome. Now, look, it gets it gets it gets crazier. Like, uh, okay, she's also going to teach you to interact with ETs, angels, and other light beings. This is one of the first steps to achieve contacting ET beings. So, you know, this is hopium for hopeful people or hopeless people. Like all these people that believe in ET and really want to know the truth and really want to get to the truth of ET and they want to commune with our star brothers. Hey, for some money, she's going to teach you to do that. This is another fucking thing that she can't prove. You, Sarah, you can't prove that you talk to ETs, angels, or any light beings. And if you can, again, push record on your phone. Go live on Facebook, go live on YouTube, and show us some fucking ETs, aliens, and other light beings, man. I can't wait to see this shit. So far, you got to show us a fucking Stargate, and then you got to show us an ET, an angel, and other light beings. I guess you could pick Sarah or Adams. You could pick whatever other light beings you want. But so far, you got to show us a fucking Stargate. ET. You got to show us that you interact with ETs, angels, and other light beings. Jesus Christ, what am I doing here? <laughs> what? Why do I got to do this? Somebody's got to do this, friends. Somebody's got to this. This is crazy. Okay. She's going to uh, teach you how to be cleansing, clearing, and rebuilding the emotional body, the physical body, the energetic body. Okay, so she must make sure that your body is clear of energetic blockages first. We must also clear out the emotional body and detox the physical body. Uh, this is probably so she gets multiple sessions, right? You're not just giving her $200 and learning, you know, how to open the Stargates. First, she's got to work on your chakra, quantum dimensional, fucking word salad, bunch of bullshit and get like multiple sessions. You're going to be going to her many, many times, not just once for this. And it's probably, she doesn't list prices, probably a couple hundred dollars a session. That's my guess. That's my speculation. If I'm wrong, her and her order idiot manager can correct me. Let's see. She's going to guide you through an energetic rebirthing process into higher frequencies to achieve accessing any ET or angelic being one must function at higher frequencies. Again, that's probably another session. She's got to fix your frequencies or some shit. I often interact with angels, light beings, and ETs. Okay, so Sarah R. Adams has that's a, is that another superpower that you interact with angels, light beings, and ETs? I, I'm going to put that in the superpower column. You can talk to angels and ETs and light beings. That you know column of your superpowers. Uh, Sarah is getting bigger and bigger. And I just, I can't believe this shit. Like I, there's another superpower. You could talk to angels, ETs, angelic beings. Okay. And here's just a, this is a humdinger of a fucking statement too. As a child, Archangel Michael appeared to me and spoke to me for hours. Uh, he told me that children often see angels because their R's are clear and that adults fail to interact with angels as their R's are dense from negative emotions and dense energies. Okay. So she talked to angels when she was a kid. Or she had imaginary friends like any other kid. I don't know. Okay. I lost my place, friends. Please bear with me. I'm somewhat visually impaired. 
Okay, I've always kept this experience deep within my heart for it's a key of why many people cannot access light beings, ETs, or angels. Yes, yeah, so to me, this whole thing is a setup so far. I'm going to get you there, and you're going to be able to talk to ETs and angels, but first, you need a lot of work and a lot of sessions. This is this is classic Connery scam language to set up a stupid person. Like, if you read this, then she can go, yeah, you know, first we have to work on, uh, you know, clearing out your emotional body and detoxing your physical body before we can talk to those ETs or those aliens, right? And then you're going to have to come back to me because I'm going to have to raise your vibration before you can talk to those ETs and those angels and those light beings and, and before you can open the stargates. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, here I am. I, I did pre-read this, so I knew that. Okay. For contact to happen, you must put in the work to detox. The state of your energy field and a detox body is a major part of getting you to successfully contact otherworldly beings. And again, uh, this is also a setup for failure. If you don't get to talk to ETs, angels, light beings, and if you don't get the superpower to open stargates and portals, then she's just going to say that you didn't put the work in. You're not, you're not detoxed enough. You don't have the energy field. Your body's not detoxed enough. Your soul's not detoxed enough. Word salad bullshit. Okay. <laughs> The course consists of 12 sessions where I work one-on-one -on -one with you and we do major amounts of energy work together. And then I teach you to open stargates and access otherworldly beings. Oh, Sarah R. Adams, would somebody please fucking buy this for me? P listen, I'll do it. If Dale, if somebody's going to buy it for me, I'll do it. But, uh, ooh, look, Detox is included in this course as it is a basis of lighting up the body and rebirthing into higher frequencies. I'm choosing to work only with those who are sincere about working with me and are working to step up and do the work. Sarah, I'll do the work. I will detox at whatever you want. I want to I want those fucking superpowers, Sarah. I want to have those fucking superpowers. I'll do the work, Sarah. She's not talking to me right now, and she's blocked me for calling her a fake, fraud, psychic, intuitive healer. Her manager hasn't replied to me because he's a fucking coward, and he knows I'm right. Bro, you know I'm right. She doesn't have superpowers, you asshole. She's hot, right? That's what you think. You think she's hot. You're in love with her, and you've dedicated your entire life to get near her, to try to help her, to be close to her. Oh, I think... I think her manager is in love with her and he knows that she's full of shit because he's, he's too smart to not know that she's full of shit, but he helps her anyway. Great, great guy. So uh, yeah, it's a 12 session course and considering she charges 250 a session for the psychic fake healing that she doesn't really do <laughs> or she tells you that she's going to do for 250. Um, these are probably this is probably 250 a shot at 12 sessions. Wow, I didn't uh, I didn't get my calculator out. But uh, you know, people complain that some of these courses are expensive. If it is 250 uh, in 12 sessions, that's three thousand dollars for her. Um, you know, even if it's even if it's if she's giving a discount for teaching as opposed to using her superpowers. At two fifty an hour, maybe she's doing one twenty five an hour. In which case, it's still fifteen hundred dollars to take this course on how to open and access stargates and portals, interact with ETs and angels and other light beings. So, you know, listen. Here's where I'm at, Sarah. Show us the fucking aliens, honey. Show us the fucking aliens, honey. Show us the fucking angels. Go live on your phone. We've all got a phone. You got a fucking phone, right? Set it to video, press record, open up the fucking stargates, right? Open up those fucking stargates, Sarah. Put your phone on, open up the fucking stargates. Show us. Show us the fucking stargates. Or are you a fraud selling people fake shit? If you can't show us that you can open a stargate, then how should we believe that you can teach us to open a fucking Stargate. And why the fuck? This is, why am I even talking about this? She's got to prove her superpowers, bro. 
She's got to. Or what she does is consumer fraud. Honey, if you can't show us the fucking Stargate, then you're selling people lies. And that's fraud, honey. That's fraud. So I think maybe we should take some bets to see if they don't change the wording of their course in the next couple of days after hearing about this. Because they know I'm right. They know I'm right. Hey, to gender, to gender, to G to Jesus, whatever the her manager guy's name is, you. The uh yeah, that guy. Uh listen, you know I'm right, bro. You know I'm right, and you gotta change that at least. You at least gotta change that. You gotta slack off some of that bullshit. You gotta pull back on the bullshit meter. You you never let her go full bullshit, dude. You never go full bullshit. She went full bullshit to Gina, and you let her, bro. You're supposed to be her manager, right? You're supposed to care about her. If you cared about her, you would tell her that she went full bullshit, and she can't go that far. She's got to pull back. She's got to pull back at least a little bit, you know? She should have said something like, she can teach you to open and navigate astral dreamscape stargates, right? Because that's a little more dreamy and ethereal, and you're not just saying that you can open stargates, you know? You got to layer in some more word salad bullshit, or this is really like, looks like fraud. It smells like fraud, because it is fraud. <laughs> She's going to teach us to open stargates, bro. I wish to God, I wish to God, I wouldn't have pissed her off. I wish I would have tried to take that course first. Because then I could just come back and say, I took the course, I did what you told me to do, and I couldn't open Stargates. So she's just stealing money from people, teaching them how to open Stargates that don't fucking exist. Sarah, your superpowers aren't real, honey. Your superpowers just aren't real. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I'm sorry if you have shit up so that you feel special, but your superpowers just aren't real, honey. They're just not real. And we have cataloged, we've started to catalog the many superpowers of Sarah Adams. And it just, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, I got, I got to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought we were done. I was like, fuck, I'm going to put this bitch away and not think about this crazy bitch anymore. But I can't help it because how is this crazy bitch sleeping at night knowing that all she's doing is selling people complete and total horseshit? It's horseshit, friends. It's total horseshit. She can heal you at the cellular level? No, she can't. And she can't prove that she can heal anybody. Look, there's a fucking reason she's not working in a leuke the child's leukemia ward day in and day out every day. It's because her superpowers aren't real. She can't heal shit. And you know what? Somebody, somebody pointed out how did all her healing superpowers work out for Max Spears? And that's terrible thing to bring up, but it's real. It's brutally honest and, and it's insensitive. But it's true. Sarah, if you have healing superpowers, why didn't you do something for Max Spears? Or did your superpowers fail him too? You say on your website that people can talk to you about addiction. Max obviously had some addiction problems, right? If your healing powers could heal addiction, maybe he'd still be here. Or maybe, just maybe, your fucking fake superpowers are just that, Sarah. Fake. Just like you. Now, listen, we're going to share your... Uh, all we're doing, too, uh, by the way, that the purpose of this video is not to uh, shame anyone or defame anyone. It's to get to the truth of some of these psychics and the claims they make, and if they're true or not, or if they are, in fact, consumer fraud. My... Uh, use of Sarah's as an example is just because this is just one of the latest one of these idiots that I've looked into and found what I believe is consumer fraud. Let's uh, let's share that 
website one more time and we're citing fair use this is a transformative work and we're educating the public about this fake fraud psychic uh sarah r adams who steals money from people for uh you know her claimed superpowers that she can't prove a single one of i don't know what are we up to 10 superpowers you have sarah well you can't prove one of them but the, the list of your superpowers keeps growing and we just found some more friends she's got more fucking superpowers okay there's another course the multi-dimensional package Sarah will guide you on energy work and teach and teach it. Also, Reiki, detoxifying, diet, meditation, prayers, positive mantras, past life regression, soul work, DNA upgrades. That's another superpower we talked about. She can upgrade and repair your DNA. Bitch, you can't prove that you can upgrade or repair anybody's DNA. So right there, that line, that's consumer fraud. Kundalini work, cell activation, superfoods, activating the body's energetic grid system. I don't even know what the body's energetic grid system is. <laughs> Sounds like bullshit to me. Word salad bullshit. Tapping. Oh, here's another one. This is great. Here's what she's going to teach you. Tapping into family or friends who have passed away. Tapping into family and friends who have passed away. So she's going to teach you to talk to your dead relatives or your dead friends. Again, Sarah, get on your phone, talk to my dead relatives, talk to my dead friends. Prove it. Prove it, bitch. You can't prove any of this shit. This is a fuck. This is two paragraphs of lies. You, uh, doesn't she have like Ishtar or something? She has like an Ishtar tattoo, right? Like she tries to be the goddess feminine energy, right? Some, some, miraculous female but she's not she's more like lilith she's like a demon this girl because all she does she is a deceiver she is simply a deceiver of people and she can teach you to tap into your family and friends who have passed away connecting to guides connecting to god and your god source within all right, this kind of stuff I'll give her. I mean, I don't see anything harmful in trying to teach people to connect with God or the God source within. In fact, uh, I talk about that in my mind hack course. Uh, but I'm not claiming that I can, you know, open stargates and, you know. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see. Uh, what else? Jesus, man. Uh, connecting to your soul and God source within the use of energy to build up organs and inner chi energy. That would be another superpower, right? She can use energy to build up your organs and inner chi energy. Yeah, she told me she could repair my organs from a distance on the phone. Um, no, she can't. <laughs> Sarah, you can't do any of this shit, honey. You are fucking delusional or you're insane or a little bit of both, honey. Or you're very devious and you know this is... There's three choices. Either you have mental illness and you really believe this shit. Um, or you know it's all bullshit and you're just on the takes scamming and conning people. I kind of hope it's the first, but I don't wish any ill will in the form of, you know, you having mental illness. But if you do have mental illness and you really believe this shit, it's, I guess it's not as as evil as just knowingly knowing this is all bullshit. But <clears throat> here I am asking you to open a fucking Stargate. You try to prove all your other superpowers to me and you fail miserably. You try to prove your superpowers to a hypno hypnotist mentalist friend of mine and claimed all kinds of shit and you failed miserably. So I guess, you know, if you really want to shut me up, just show me the fucking Stargate, Sarah. Show me a fucking Stargate, a single Stargate. I'll settle for a single Stargate. It could be the Alpha Centauri or Zeta Reticuli or another fucking dimension. I don't care. I don't care where the Stargate goes, Sarah. But show us a, you opening a fucking Stargate. Show it to us. Show us. Or is this just fraud what you do? Is this just you stealing from people, selling your fake superpowers and fiction to people claiming that it's real. 
It's not real, Sarah, unless you can show us opening you opening a fucking Stargate, first of all, then your superpowers are fake. Jesus Christ. Oh, she also teaches remote viewing and astral projection. Sarah will work with you on a lot of the above points, and she thinks that she thinks you need to work on and make you more multidimensional. Can she prove that she can make anybody more multidimensional? I don't think so, but that's another superpower. Sarah can make me multidimensional. What the fuck does that even mean? I'm going to be in multiple dimensions at once? This word salad bunch of fucking quantum entangled heart chakra bullshit is just that. It's bullshit. She's going to make me more. She's going to make you more multidimensional. Oh, this, she explains it. As you can see, the list is extensive and becoming multidimensional is a multifaceted approach with Sarah. You would also need to do a lot of work between sessions as Sarah guides you on becoming more multidimensional. You may need to work on certain aspects than others as the approach will be tailored for you. You can choose between 12 or 20 one-hour sessions over 6 to 10 months. Enter your information below to get pricing and booking for this package. She doesn't even put a price there. See, I'm torn now. Do I want to There's two courses here, friends. And in one of the courses, I'm going to is going to I'm going to activate my light being and I'm going to be able to talk to ETs, angels and other light beings and I'm going to be able to open and access stargates and I'm going to have an energetic rebirthing process. That sounds good. Those sound like good superpowers, right? Or I can pick package A and I'll be able to Gee, I'll be able to tap into family or friends who have passed away. So for the, for this course, you don't get to talk to ETs and alien or ETs and angels and other light beings. You get to talk to your dead relatives or your dead friends. It's so hard to choose between these. I'd like to talk to angels, but I'd really like to talk to some dead friends. It's going to be a hard choice to make for some people. So maybe they take both these courses of bullshit. <laughs> oh jesus christ what else do you get oh uh this one you get healing from depression and abuse i forgot about that it's hard to pick which superpower which superpower course to take i feel like i'm in a, a fucking video game like dc universe online or like city of heroes anybody remember that and you could take a course to up your superpowers you know and there was choices. These are some hard choices. I think I would go for opening the fucking Stargates, though. Me, personally, I think I'd rather be able to learn to open the fucking Stargate. So, you know, I don't know why, but I was thinking about this consumer fraud, and it reminded me of some things that I sort of didn't really fully explore on her website. Come on, Sarah. Open a fucking Stargate. For me, for me, honey, just do it for me. You know you want to. You know you want to open a fucking Stargate just for me. Just film it, honey. Open a fucking Stargate. You got to show us the Stargate or what you're doing is consumer fraud. You're taking money from people, promising them that you're going to teach them to open Stargates, which would have to mean that you, the teacher, can open and access Stargates. So I'm saying, show us a fucking Stargate, Sarah Adams. Show us just one fucking Stargate. It could be, it could go anywhere. I don't care. Just show us a fucking Stargate, Sarah. And if you can't, then you're a fucking fraud. I'm betting you can't. I mean, come on. Show us a fucking Stargate, really. So, you know, today's going to be a short one. I just had a little rant about this consumer fraud and somebody promising ridiculous shit like Sarah Adams promising people she's going to teach them to open a fucking Stargate. Why is this allowed? Why uh, doesn't law enforcement step in and say, excuse me, you can't tell people that you're going to teach them to open Stargates unless you can prove that you can open a Stargate. So I say, prove it, bitch. Prove it. Show us at least one fucking Stargate, right? 
or talk to my dead relatives, talk to my dead friends. We can test you on that. She won't let me test her on that. That would ruin the whole fucking con she's got going. Come on. She won't let us test her on whether she can upgrade and repair my DNA. Like, I could get a DNA scan and then let her do whatever the fuck she wants to do. And we can look at the DNA again and see it's nothing changed. Friends, these con artists, sometimes, you know, they give themselves enough rope. And in the case of her website, with these promises that she's making, uh, yeah, I think that's enough rope. That really is enough rope. These are some incredibly bold claims. Um, we keep discovering more and more superpowers that she has. And I don't know whether it's because, you know, she was injected with artificially intelligent black goo or because she's an alien hybrid or because she was injected with alien DNA, causing her whole system to change, or it's because she's actually an alien. See, these are all stories from her and her supporters about where her superpowers came from. Because let's not forget, friends, if you're going to be a superhero, you need a superhero origin story. But one of the problems with Sarah R. Adams is that they have retconned her uh, a couple of times since she came on the scene first claiming to be a super soldier. Oh, that's right. She was a super soldier before uh, she was an intuitive, empathic healer. Folks, this you can't make this shit up. You just can't make this shit up. And, uh, you know, 250 an hour for this level of bullshittery, you know, you, if you're going to charge 250, you got to pour that bullshit on thick. You got to give people their money's worth. If they're willing to buy this bullshit, you some bullshit. If they're willing to buy some bullshit, you got to paste this on thick to get 250 an hour and keep people coming back giving you 250 an hour more. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, Lee Beltman. So I'm taking comments and questions from the chat. Lee Veltman, this is it. This is fucking, this is the word salad bullshit that they all do, that I'm talking about. You have to find where the toroidal currents converge with the neutrinos in the quantum convergence frequency to get a good portal open. <coughs> and that, my friends, is new age word salad. <coughs> Yeah, light up another one, right? Sorry, friends. I got a tickle in my throat. I hope it's not Rona tickle. <laughs> this is terrible. Ever since this Rona started, every time I get a tickle in my throat or a little cough, I smoke, I'm going to cough. Okay. Sixes Design says, I am pretty sure there is much more than our five senses allow. I never believed any different, but so many of these hoaxes are so obvious scams. Where is the good information, the real info? Yeah, there's got to be. There's got to be. A Discord link to what, Spooky? Do you have a Discord going now? Okay. Pragmagic is here. She's been touched by God, which means flicked in the brain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think so. I, you know, really what I think is that she's got some kind of terrible mental illness and all this stuff gives her some kind of comfort, makes her feel like she's not ordinary and she's special. Um, some people are tortured by their own lack of of any kind of real world abilities you know so they just live in a fantasy land i think i've always been more interested in sort of lately especially like real world accomplishments like you know um pragmatic i was talking to a friend about and he was saying something about social media reach and a kind of nosy friend, so he's looking me up and going, oh, you got this many, wow, you're doing really good on social media, you've got a really good reach, and uh, you got to just learn to monetize that better, and I thought, like, 
okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm much more interested in, and, and then he said, like, having, being good at getting engagement and, and, and stuff on social media is a skill. And, uh, and, and I'm still like, that's not a real world thing, though. This is just some numbers and zeros off in the cloud. I'm much more interested in real world abilities lately, like, uh, you know, building things with my own two hands and, uh, and that sort of thing. Okay, so comments or questions? Uh, yeah. Yeah, six is design. I think they might be trying to jump on the hashtag train using quantum in hopes 30 years from now they can say they predicted it, making it work for themselves in the future. Yeah. And Steve Ronan is here. Yeah, I know there is way more to life than we know in 2020. Like in 500 years from now, they will probably look back at 2020 and be like us looking back at the 10th century. Yeah, could be. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Banya, all for the love of money. Yeah, 250 an hour. Gonna get 250 an hour, friends. 250 an hour so that she can pretend that she has superpowers. You give her 250 an hour, she pretends she has superpowers, and she doesn't give you anything. She doesn't prove any of her superpowers are real. But if you want to believe that some strange girl has superpowers uh, and give her 250 an hour, then you, you can LARP and play along too. I don't know. If she's the intuitive healer, you know, like I think I want to be like the wizard, right? <laughs> I want to be the sorcerer. Can I be a sorcerer in this game? Is that how we play? Like we just make up shit? Like I could be a sorcerer? Like Dungeons and Dragons when I was 10? <laughs> Do some people just never get over that? Is that what it is? Like they pretend so hard at Dungeons and Dragons? Uh, that's crazy. Spooky. Uh, yes, but not today. I have uh, actually, I have an idea that that would fit in perfectly too. Um, and that would be a social experiment to see how gullible people are if I introduce them to my psychic friend and let my psychic friend cold read them and i can teach you some things spooky and you could get real good at it real in a real short amount of time and then we can ask them after you give them the reading like how accurate do you think my psychic friend was and we'll all be shocked at how accurate spooky will be yeah yeah you know what i can teach people to be a better fake psychic than uh, sarah r adams so if anybody would like to We'll do us an experiment, and I'll train you to be a fake psychic, uh, and then we'll test your fake psychic abilities on people that don't know you're fake and see how accurate they think you are. And I guarantee you that uh, if you uh, use the tools that I will give you, you will get a lot of hits and a super high ranking as far as accuracy from somebody that doesn't know better. You too will be able to see people, but you'll be able to do it much better than Sarah Adams, you know, because I'm not going to tell anybody to fucking claim they can open Stargates, okay? That's a bridge too far. You can't go f fucking full superpowers like that. you got to be reserved in your, in your psychic abilities that you're going to show people. And you know what else? All this stuff uh, got me to thinking about my old mentalism show. So some night we're going to do a whole show where I'm going to read minds, bend metal. Um, I will do predictions. I will control people's minds in the audience. I will read people's minds in the audience. And uh, But it's entertainment, friends. And I'm not going to claim that I have superpowers. But... If I wanted to, I could convince people of a lot of shit. And Sarah Adams can't convince anybody of any of this shit. None of this shit. 
<laughs> Joe Prisco says, for 250 an hour, I want more than fic fictional superpowers. Yeah, definitely me too. Definitely me too. I mean, that's honestly, I'm broke right now. So 250, if I had 250 right now, the last fucking thing I would do is give it to some clown like this bitch. This bitch would not be getting my 250 if I had it right now. Yeah, and it's interesting. Somebody clipped out uh, a certain secret space idiot saying that uh, he moved his course because he wants to give people more opportunity once they get their stimulus check to sign, you know, to give him a big chunk of their stimulus check. The grift is strong with some of them. Some of them have no shame in their game. Dude basically said, I moved my eye course so that people will get their stimulus. Hopefully people will get a second stimulus check and then, you know, have the funds to give me. He knows everybody's broke right now. He's banking on everybody giving, getting a fucking check from the government and giving him a big chunk of it, you know, to learn his goobly gobbly words, a salad bunch of nonsense that he stole from a religion that he's not authorized to teach. The grift is strong, friends. The grift is strong with these people. Six is designed, reminding people that they can donate to Truth Seekers via Patreon. Yes. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, I got to give a shout out for a kind donation. One second. Let me just check into our... Uh, for those that don't know, I should put the bumper up. I'm a lazy host, friends. Hold on one second. I'll, I have a... Okay. For those that don't know, this is a viewer-supported show, and we need your financial support to continue the show. You can uh, give us a, do a one-time donation via PayPal... Uh, it's just right at the top of the main channel or uh, in the about section and make it a donation. Uh, otherwise, you can sign up on Patreon for a dollar a month and you get basically a backstage pass. Uh, and the backstage pass includes a monthly audio journal, of what's going on behind the scenes. And is this case sensitive? No, it's not. I'm trying to get into PayPal, and they're doing this, uh, you know. There, because I'm pretty sure we got. Oh yeah, Jonas Hyde gave us a five, a kind donation uh, of five dollars. So we appreciate it. Thank you, Jonas Hyde, friend of the show. Always very supportive and helpful, and helping us to continue to grow the show. So anybody else, if anybody would like to donate, the, here's why uh, I'm okay with putting a begging bowl out. Because some people are taking thousands of dollars of Super Chat donations, giving people lies. I'm trying to give people some truth and a little bit of entertaining truth. I mean, the irony of this bitch, Sarah Adams, right? The Not irony. The ball's on her. She's going to tell people that she can open Stargate's. And take people's money to teach them how to open Stargates. It's bullshit, friends. It's bullshit. And the fact that she gets away with it is crazy. And we need viewer support because I don't want to owe any of these frauds anything. Do you know that... Uh, you know, and, and everybody, you know, listen... The unwritten rule among many of these people out here in our community is don't tell anybody about my scam and I won't complain about yours, right? Uh, there's very few independent voices that can say, this is fucking fake. This is fake. This is bullshit. And here's why. Because, you know, they play along. They play along in order to get those conference appearances. Well, those are gone now because of COVID. But, you know, the conference appearances, hey, maybe uh, you could be on my on my movie and I'll be on yours. And, you know, I'm not involved in any of that shit. So uh, maintain my intent. I have to not give people the reality. Right. I don't have to play along with the games. So uh, if you want to see this kind of honest 
coverage of these clowns, then please support us. And another thing, if you cannot, it's a rough time right now. Brother, can you spare a dime, right? It is rough. And I understand that a lot of people are uh, in as bad or worse financial condition than I am. Uh, so if you can't give us a couple bucks the other way, the best way that you can really help us is to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you send our channel address to some friends. Ask them to subscribe. We're trying to get to the magic number so that we can make a few YouTube pennies on ads uh, if they let us. And uh, Super Chat donations would really, really help us a lot if we could get to that magic number. Need a few hundred more subscribers. I come here and I water this garden every chance I get. And uh, because of that, um, putting it out there to the world, I'm here, I'm watering the garden, so surely in time this garden will grow. Uh, if you want to come and help me grow that garden, please do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share these videos on social media, send our channel address, ask some friends to subscribe, let them know there's independent media that pulls no punches about these new age frauds and what's going on behind the scenes of some of this shit. It's worth it, friends. It's worth it for there to be some of us out here that aren't compromised, right? And with that, I'll turn my attention back, uh, totally back to the live chat. Again, I want to thank, uh, I got off off track. I want to, I really do want to thank Jonas I because, uh, you know, really every, every dollar helps. And I'm trying to get a couple of more things to sort of expand the studio so that we could have, I got a larger backdrop, same backdrop, but I think it's twice as big as this one. And that should allow us to have live in-person guests. Um, we have to rearrange some things, but uh, I think that will work. Um, I'm going to try to work on that in the coming couple of days. We got a, uh, there's a few other little bobs, you know, everything here was uh, really, really supported by the Patreon a uh, couple of bucks a month that I get. And we've been buying little bits of gear slowly. So there's a few more little bits and pieces that I'd like to get. Every dollar goes back into the show. Okay. Vander Sar 32 is here. DW predicted that Trump would win big in the election. Yes, I commented on that on Twitter. Uh, now he's uh, saying, you know, it's all going to make sense. I'm going to make additional comments and uh, yeah, bullshit. And now he's, he's talking about the indictments, the sealed indictments and the mass arrests. Steve Ronan says, Leo Zagami is interesting, weird. I don't whether to believe him or not. Do you, Lee and Maggie? Not very familiar with him. Nice to see you, Preg Magic. Yeah, we're going to be winding things down, so you're not going to miss much. <laughs> uh, like I said, I've got a great deal of stuff to do. Uh, talk with you soon. Can DM you some links. Good. Jonaside says you're welcome, Cambi. Yeah, thanks, Jonaside. I really appreciate it. You don't have to keep doing that. Let somebody else step up and become a worm. Stop being a leech. <laughs> yeah, I was on another guy's show and he was pushing things going like, well, you know, you got to pay for Netflix. You got to pay for this. You got to pay for that. And, uh, you know, many people that have shows like mine don't ask uh or ask for like a lot more they go oh uh sign up for patreon for 20 dollars a month and i go 20 dollars a month right now that's crazy so we only charge a dollar a month or more you can give as much as you like every month but it's only required to sign up for a dollar and, and i think that's very fair if i could get a you know a few hundred more people that would be great and uh we'll probably be doing i'm gonna do a patreon only stream as soon as we figure out how the hell to do that I'm still trying to figure out exactly how that works. We're going to do that. Oh, and that reminds me of one last bit of business, and that is Twitch. Uh, I think there's one or two people in Twitch every time we stream. Uh, for those that don't know, we stream uh, to three places on the Internet simultaneously, Facebook Live, here on YouTube, and on Twitch. Um, 
we really need some help on the Twitch to get that going. So uh, if you have a Twitch account, please go to twitch.tv backslash truth seeker show or in the search bar truth seeker show and you'll find us. Um, follow us on Twitch. We need to get the Twitch follower numbers up uh, so that hopefully uh, that will become a, a monetization source as well. But I think we have to, I don't know if we have to get like 40 or 30 uh, more Twitch followers. Uh, yeah, and thanks, Six Design. <laughs> yeah, I did do a post on David Wilcock falsely predicting the election. Just another fake prediction of his. Just another fake prediction that didn't come true. And he's already acting like that didn't even happen. So it's like the guy can't even remember what the fuck he lied about five days ago. It's crazy. Oh, that's very nice of you, Steve Ronan. I would appreciate that. Yeah, we just need you and 8,000 more people to do that. So I'm one step closer to my goals <laughs> every day. Yeah, and this... This month, everybody got their money's worth on Patreon because they got a drunk stream that I pulled from YouTube, but some people still wanted to see it, and I figured I'll give it to the Patreon people. If you want to see me drunk off my ass, slurring my words, uh, pissed off at a uh, UFO cult, give me a dollar. <laughs> and, uh, and we gave an audio journal this month and also a three-and-a-half-hour audio track of the Mind Hack Project, which is coming up on finally being completed, I hope. Um, and then I'll be selling a course too, but the difference is mine's not bullshit. Frequencies, right? Oh man, I, I just blanked on word salad. I could, I could have been somebody, I could have been a new age profiteering asshole like Sarah Adams or David Wilcock or some of these other clowns out there selling bullshit and lies, but I just, I don't have that word salad ability. Maybe I could take a course in that. Like the quantum, uh, you know, the quantum, the quantum brain states that I will in in draw you in in the mind hack project or yeah, it's just <laughs> it's bullshit, definitely bullshit. Yes, pragmatic psycho uh, psychoacoustics. That's a good one too. Yeah, I, mine uses binaural beats and subliminal messages and guided meditation. So, uh, yeah. Yes, I do, Stephen Ronan, know who Douglas Dietrich is. And I think he's a bit of a whack job. Uh, and so I don't, I think I watched like one or two streams of his because somebody else, another show host had mentioned him a few times and I was like, what's this guy about? And then I turned on one stream and I was like, this guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> so I didn't really, you know, or maybe I just tuned into the one stream where he was really crazy and that, and that fucked me. Right. That fucked me on, on if that guy did have any good information, I'm not going to see it now. Okay, Donald Marshall and Douglas Dietrich makes conspiracy theory fun, but don't mention Eric Dubé in the same sentence in the wrong chat room. Just saying. Yeah, it's very clicky, right, Lee Veltman? It's very, very clicky. He hates white people. <laughs> yeah, I hate white people too. Fucking white people, Steve Ronan. They're the cause of all the evil in the world, these fucking white people. <laughs> so... You know, friends, I didn't have a lot of time today. Uh, I'm really pressed for time, but I still, I wanted to come here, check in uh, with everyone. I'm glad to see so many people. We had great, great numbers tonight. I was looking between the Facebook and the, uh, between Facebook, Twitch, and uh, and here on YouTube, we had 50 at one point, I believe, which is great. That's a great audience. I'm always happy when there's an audience, uh, and, and I'm glad that you guys could all be here to be part of mine. Uh, you know, listen, I have, uh, I got, I have some shows planned that are going to be long ones and I'm kind of just bracing myself for those. There's a couple of long ones coming up because I've got a great deal of research to dump. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to take a while to unpack some of it. it's very data rich. Uh, and I mean, good citable source data, you know? So, uh, it's going to take some time to uh, to get to those. 
In the meantime, I would like to also say we're going to get back to our exploration of the connection, the often connection uh, between some of these hucksters that are out there selling UFO propulsion devices that are also free energy machines. Um, yeah, John Searle is up next and, and the Searle effect generator. Uh, that guy has been selling that thing for 50 years and has yet to prove to anyone, to any credible scientist, that it works, yet he's been taking investment money from different groups, different people, different startups that just fell apart and failed after the money dried up, and then he waited five years and did the same thing again. Uh, it's a great story, though, because somehow uh, John Searle... Uh, created a device that was a UFO propulsion system and could run a flying saucer. And he has pictures of these full flying saucers that he said that machine was running, but he can't replicate it or, you know, and it's also a free energy device. And friends, when I show you some of the people that have put tens of thousands of hours into trying to replicate his effects, it's crazy. It's a crazy story. Uh, and then also the Newman engine. We're going to get to Mr. Newman, who's one of my favorite of the free energy guys because he was such a character. Unfortunately, he just passed away not long ago, but there is an amazing documentary that we're going to review when we talk about Mr. Newman, just called Newman. Look it up on Netflix. Uh, if you want to see the story of one of these free energy guys, uh, one of the better ones, I'd say, uh, at least more credible because he had some science proving that his thing worked and he had to fight the patent office, wouldn't give him a patent and he fought him for years and years and years. And uh, it's a great, that's another great story. So we're going to be getting back to this, our sort of usual coverage, getting back to my groove here. I hope that you will be, uh, you will be here to get in the groove with me. Wait, that sounded dirty. I don't know. All right, so uh, friends, uh, like I said, I got a great deal of things that I have to take care of this evening. Um, I'll be working on this Alt OS. Uh, we're gonna have the Alpha 2 soon, very soon. Um, there's a few things that I wanna do, and then what people don't realize is that I'm giving people basically a copy of this personal you know, system and I've, I'm using the browser. So I have to go and like kill all the, all the browser uh, passwords and reset them all to default, all the browsers. And there's a bunch of stuff that I have to do. I have a short to do list though on Altos Alpha 2 before I can just upload it. We got another 100 gigabytes of storage because it's clocking in right now at about 100 gigabytes. And I know people are going to complain because it's going to take an hour to download it, but it's, it's so worth it. I mean, you've probably downloaded a hundred gigabyte game that sucked that you played twice and didn't play again. Uh, this is uh, something worth downloading. All right, friends. So uh, tomorrow we're going to be back probably a more close to our usual time, probably 9 p.m. Um, and we'll get started on uh, a new journey. Uh, you know, for now, I'm going to do sort of quick run at this psychics and consumer fraud. Because quite honestly, I really truly believe that some of these people are just out there ripping people off or I wouldn't say it. Um, and there's a few other people in regard to the psychic that we talked about tonight, the Sarah R. Adams, that have an incredible amount of damaging information about her. And I'm not sure that we're going to go any deeper. I think we've done enough. It's, uh, you know, if there's enough interest, we'll see. I have a couple of people that wanted to be guests and tell me about their terrible personal experiences with her. Uh, you know, sort of the floodgates opened on that. And that's what happens, you know. People go, oh, and, and uh, you know, I, I do have to say that I got a few emails of people saying, thank God somebody's telling the truth about her finally. She's, uh, you know, she's this or she's that or she did this or she did that. So the the floodgates opened, friends. So uh, we are gonna we are gonna call it a night here, friends, an early night for once. So until next time, friends. I'm Stephen Cambian. 
God bless all of you. And we're out.